Hi, I'm Patrick with Rambo Bikes. Today I'm going to show you how to put your upgraded uh, suspension forks onto your Rambo 750 26 or 26C. Alright, so the first step in uh, changing your forks on Rambo bike is taking off the front wheel using a 15 millimeter open-ended wrench. All right, next thing you want to do uh, is put the forks on. You're going to want to remove this brake caliper here. Uh, you also want to make sure you cut the zip ties. You're going to want to remove both of these bolts here and here, the five millimeter Allen key. Uh, another thing to be careful of is once there is no rotor or no spacer between the two pads on the back side here, uh, you want to make sure not to squeeze uh, the front brake lever. Since they are hydraulic brakes, this could cause hydraulic fluid um, to fall over the floor or as well as the pads to fall out. Once you got the caliper off, um, one thing you might want to do is take the bolts out here. Um, just make sure you don't lose them. Uh, using the same 5mm Allen key, remove the two bolts from the mounting bracket here. Alright, so what you want to do first is you want to remove this top bolt before loosening the bolts on the stem. That way the stem still claims the steer tube to prevent the forks from falling out. And once you have that removed, you want to hold the bottom of the forks and you can loosen the two bolts on the stem. Also be careful of the shims and the bearings in here. Those can actually stay in there. I'd place this piece off to the side as well as bolt the shims. And also pay attention to the order these are coming off in, so you put it back together correctly. And we'll just slide right out. All right, you can see the bearing came with it here, so you're going to want to take this off. It's the bearing that goes on the underside here. You can either set it back in the tube, but since it's kind of loose, I would just hold on to it. All right, you can either place the bearing back on the forks here. And if we slide it back in the tube, you can also put it in the bottom of the tube here on the underside. Um, completely up to you. You just want to make sure it is flush on the bottom. Next step is sliding these forks up through the center. You're going to want to hold the bearings um, up top here. Just make sure none of them pop out. And make sure that it's fully seated on the bottom side here so there's no play. All right, this part here again is when you're going to want to have a buddy to help you out. Uh, if you don't have a stand, as you do need to keep your hand here on the bottom the whole time to make sure the forks don't just drop right back out. Um, if you remember these two little shims here, these went on first. After that, it is this little Nico bottom piece here. All right, now if you remember the order we had it in here, it was two spacers on the bottom. After that, the next part you're gonna put back on here is the stem. And what you can do here as well is you can tighten these bolts back down. Keep your five millimeter Allen key close. That way it'll kind of clamp it from falling back down. Still holding the bottom of the forks here. Um, then you're gonna wanna add your spacer on the top. There will be a little bit of a gap, but that's okay. And replace top bolt here. Again, you wanna keep your hand down here to make sure that this stays tight. And tighten down on this top bolt. You'll know you have these too tight if uh, you turn them and they stick. So if they're sticking when you're moving them like this, that's how you know this top bolt here is a little too tight. Um, once you got that all adjusted, you replace a rubber piece back in there. All right, you can see here, so our caliper is hanging a little bit higher uh, than where it mounts here. Um, so to fix that, up if you look up here at the cables, it's actually zip tied all the way along the top here. Uh, if you cut all these, that'll give you enough slack to reach down to the mounting bracket. All right, next step is gonna be to put this mounting bracket back on to your new forks here. And I'd start by just hand threading both screws to start. Tighten these back down. So if you notice when you took these two bolts off earlier, one of them had a spacer. Uh, this is the bolt that goes on the bottom. And if you remember, the spacer went in between uh, the caliper and the mount. So you wanna make sure to put it back in the same position. And you can just start by threading these by hand. And you're gonna to wanna to use your five millimeter Allen key. 
tighten these almost all the way back up. You want to leave them just a little loose so you can adjust them on the rotor. All right, to remove the spacer, all you do is put your hand in the center and just pull straight down. Should pull right out. All right, once you got that all set up, you want to replace the tire. Make sure to have the rotor on the same side as the brake caliper. Um, I also stand in the front here so I can see the rotor going in between the pads. And then once you get it into the forks, you want to hand tighten the bolts down. You're also going to want to make sure that your tire is centered on the forks. You can do that by lining up the center of the treads with this hole on the top of the forks. Once you've got the tire uh, on the forks and centered, you want to tighten the axle nuts down the rest of the way using your 15 millimeter wrench. All right, so earlier we left the brake caliper loose so we can make some adjustments on it. You can see here it is loose and moving. Uh, so you want to look right down through here where the rotor goes between the pads and you want to center that rotor between the two pads here. You can do that by just looking straight down and looking for a little bit of daylight on either side. If you need more information on how to adjust your brakes, you can check out our video on adjusting your brakes on your Rambo bike. All right, earlier we left these stem bolts here loose so we could make sure the handlebars were straight. You can see now they have their own free range of motion independent of the tire. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is stand over top of the tire. You wanna have the tire centered on the bike and then you can use the line on the front of the handlebars here uh, to center it as well until you can no longer turn the handlebars. All right, and that is how you put your upgraded suspension forks onto your Rambo 750 26 or 26C. Uh, if you have any questions, you can call our office at 952-283-0777. Uh, you can also check out our website, rambobikes.com. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks.